So as I said before, uh, we need to um, work only, I changed the drawstring, I put this one because it's longer and I put this little pompons here with puff stitch and here is where I began actually the sleeve. It's really easy, I will show you on the other side. First of all, first of all I just want to show you, so here I will work my sleeve which means I have to put a marker okay like this try to work the sleeve so to find a measure that it's more or less because we cannot it's really difficult to decrease for the wrist okay so we will go on with the same um, circumference so try to get a, a um, average circumference uh, for the arm and uh, uh, between the arm and the wrist okay so okay you understand the idea I'm sure now uh, I want to show you how to sew the parts actually one part I already joined and I join it with uh, again with slip stitch and chain 3 and it's like this I really love it uh, how it looks but what I want to do is to put it upside down, inside out, sorry, <laughs> and <laughs> now let me just show you how to do it. We have chain three, we have uh, three insert hook into the shell chain and slip stitch to join. Now you can chain three and now we will go on into the first double crochet here and into the first double crochet here and slip stitch to join. Now it's better if you put it, try to put it like this so you can see the design of the pattern stitch so it must be and again one two three okay one two three and I will skip just one here it is my single crochet go into the single crochet find the single crochet on the other side and slip stitch to join one two and three now I will go here and here okay so follow actually the design we must have one, two, three, and we go into the same row, let's say on one side, on the other side to join. Okay? So we will join like this. We will join like this until we have we reach the marker for the underarm. Okay. Now I will continue on like this. So just pay attention to be always into the same um like this to be always into the same uh, row on one side and on the other side when you join okay now I finished to join and this one I have to I uh, this is I also put it uh, on the right side again don't cut yarn because we will begin here uh, with the uh, with the sleeve and for the sleeve now the rule is this one we work single crochet two single crochets I will put a marker into the first so I know where I am two single crochets around the double crochet and two single and one single crochet into the single crochet row so that you will have at the end a multiple of 16 so this is the idea this is you to uh, to You have to do it, let's say, by yourself. And here I have four, and I just continue on like this until I have my first 16. And then I just know how many I have to put, how I have to put them, so I know where I am with my first 16, okay? So you can just figure out the rest. Okay, so just go on works. Um, multiple of 16 all around uh, of single crochets.
So I already finished my uh, single crochet row round because now we will work in round. To work in round the pattern stitch, uh, we will begin exactly where where begins the normal um, pattern in rows. So uh, one, two, three, and work two. Okay, and I will complete the shell, the first shell at the end. I will work two more. Believe me, it's perfect like this. So the uh, the only thing that we will work uh, differently that the pattern stitch is the very first row, this one, and the mm, the thing that will be differently is that we will work. Uh, we will skip instead of skipping two single crochet we will skip just one okay so I work my half chain skip one work single crochet chain one skip one chain uh, single crochet and now again skip one so uh, into the pattern stitch uh, as you know we always skip two at the beginning but now we skip only one okay five skip one and single crochet, chain one, skip one, chain single crochet. Okay, this is how we will continue on all around. So I'm back, I almost finished my first row, now around. <laughs> now what I want to show you is the first round and how to finish it. Now I have two single crochets here to skip just because I cannot actually work uh, only in multiple of six the single crochets uh, I put six, uh, 16 sorry 16 16 and 17 at the end so I will just keep two single crochets okay it it uh, happens okay and insert took exactly into the stitch where you worked where you began and we have to oops we have to complete with we have to complete with two more single crochets and exactly this is what we will do here. I complete with two more single double crochets, insert hook into the third chain and uh, join. So in the middle of the shell, exactly in the middle of the shell we finished. Now a very important thing. Uh, now when you finish the first round, just to be sure that you have the multiple perfectly, uh, just control check if you have um pairs of shells so two 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 and two if you have pairs of shells just go on now this is my graphic and on the graphic i will show you so it's here that we begin the the round and we finish the round so we will begin with chain three obvious that it's on the other side but it's okay uh, we will begin with chain three and four uh, double crochets we will finish with four more because here we don't work only five now but we will work nine okay uh here on the single crochet it's important that uh to see it's important that you see how to begin. Now let us begin. So as I said, we begin with chain three and we work our five double crochets. So one, chain three was the first one. One, two, three, four into the single crochet, five into the chain one space. Now then continue on with chain three, one double crochet into the other chain all into the other shell all around and I will show you how to finish so I finished the almost finished the round so I work chain three double crochet chain three and now I will skip into the chain one space which is where is which is where is here okay and now here I will complete with four more double crochets one two three four and now I will and so I will have my nine double crochets that I need to complete the round here they are and the miracle is done slip stitch into the third chain and here we have it now to begin another round and this is the single crochet round we we don't single crochet like this okay uh, we just work like this chain two and insert hook into the next double crochet and single crochet and this means that we work we already work the chain one space and the single crochet and when we are back we work the single crochet here and we slip stitch to join 
and then to begin another round we will slip stitch actually into the chain one space into the chain one space and then chain three and begin another round and the rest it's exactly the same okay even if you have this one you will just chain two and single crochet into the first chain okay and single crochet at the end and then we when you begin the next round you just slip stitch into that chain one space and chain three to begin the next round so that's all um it's um, really really nice i think it's uh it's it's really really nice blouse spring autumn spring blouse i can say uh you if you want it a little bit larger you can work the same mm, yarn with a 4.5 millimeters hook uh you don't have um i i um, change my mind i don't uh, want to put nothing on my blog you have all the measures all the sizes here in this video and it's easier like this for you too because uh, you have all here you don't have to go on the blog and to see there and here and so on so i think it's it's more uh, it's better like this so thank you for watching uh don't forget to uh, visit my shop my online shop of yarns you will see so many beautiful for yarns there is in the, in the from the home is the category uh and you just uh, go on that go on that page and it's the close out yarn yarns now there are yarns yarns that uh they just sold out because are um at the end okay so if you want to buy them just buy them but think about a uh, there is one thing to to know there are yarns that won't be uh, anymore so if you want to make a project you just have to buy the uh, right quantity of that yarn okay but you can find so many beautiful yarns at so many beautiful prices in in that category so it's close out yarns and then there are the daily deals and there are really funny too so uh, don't forget to visit our yarn shop if you have some uh, questions to to just write me a uh, on my email i will put it uh, here below on that uh, on the on that video on the video below the video and into the info box and if you want to share with me some photos of your projects that you worked following one of my tutorials uh, join our community crochet community on youtube on uh, facebook it's uh, crochet with wana or you can just send me photos uh, in a private message on my facebook page thank you again and see you at the next tutorial bye bye